As a runner, I've always thought I should be stretching, but I could never get consistent with it. And that would always weigh on my subconscious. There was always this voice in my head that was saying, you need to be stretching or you're going to get injured. But here's the thing. I haven't had a serious running injury in over 20 years. And so it got me thinking, what if everything we know about stretching is actually wrong? Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into the science of stretching and what I found could surprise you because after hours and hours of reading these dozens of academic studies, what I found is that what we believe about stretching is misguided. Yeah. First, before we get into it, we need to talk about definitions so that we're on the same page. There are two different kinds of stretching that I'm going to talk about today. First is static stretching, and the second is dynamic stretching. You've also heard them referred to as maybe passive or uh, active stretching. And so for static stretching, that's the stretching that you learned in like PE class, where, you know, hold it for 30 seconds. The dynamic stretching or active stretching is where it looks more like you're warming up for a dance routine, where you're swinging your legs back and forth, trying to extend the range of motion. First, let's talk about strength training, because we all know as runners that we should be doing at least a little bit of resistance work in order to become a better runner. And I'm going to quote a PhD bioscience genius, Dr. Rhonda Patrick. She said that there's essentially zero evidence that stretching helps with strength training. In fact, and this is where it gets wild, it may even make you weaker. I know, I know, this probably it goes against anything that you've ever been taught or that you've learned in your life, but it gets even crazier. Dr. Brad Schoenfeld takes it to the next level when he says that Stretching for the sake of stretching or gaining flexibility for the sake of gaining flexibility is misguided because increased flexibility reduces the stability of the joint. If you can do what you need to do from an activities of daily living standpoint, there's no reason to gain more flexibility. He's essentially calling out the whole idea of being flexible for the sake of being flexible as completely useless. I mean, think about it. If you can do your day-to-day -day activities, normally without any limitations in terms of mobility, why do you need to be more flexible? If you think about it, it's kind of like getting a bigger gas tank on your car if your car can already take you as far as you need to go. I know that metaphor is not perfect, but you get the idea. These two experts are basically saying that if your goal is to become more flexible or to increase your mobility, then you should stretch. Otherwise, it's just not worth your time. When it comes to dynamic stretching, you know, the movement kind of stretching, that's where we start to see some benefits, but it's not a benefit in the sense of stretching. It's more as a targeted warm up for specific muscle groups. You're not really increasing flexibility. You're mostly just telling your muscles, hey, we're gonna get going here, get ready. But what about running specifically? Is there any evidence? According to all of the articles that I read, and I read a lot of articles, there is absolutely zero evidence that static stretching is beneficial for runners in any way, whether that's performance or injury prevention. With that said, there seems to be kind of an exception, but it's for injury treatment. If you are injured currently, then stretching does seem to help. Personally, I had IT band issues in my life, and, and static stretching definitely seemed to help, but even that is debated in some studies. Now, when it comes to dynamic stretching, that's when, again, we start to see some benefits. But, like I said, with the resistance training, it's not so much a stretching benefit as it is a targeted warm-up. When you do butt kicks or your leg swings, you're activating muscles in a way that you're telling your muscles that you're going to be doing something out of the ordinary. And so there is some benefit there, but it's not really the stretching part of it. And so after reading all of these scientific studies, and I probably read a couple dozen scientific studies about the science behind stretching, 
there's still a lot we don't know and it's obvious because a lot of these research papers contradict each other. And so there's still a lot we can know and to top it all off, there is even some evidence that genetics plays a role in whether or not stretching will be beneficial for you. And so it might even be unique to each person. With that said, after hours of reading these articles, there are a few key takeaways. First, stretching does not prevent injury. Second, dynamic stretching has been shown to be helpful, but is not really stretching. It's basically a targeted warm up for specific muscle groups. And third, stretching is an effective part of injury treatment, but it needs to be paired with strength training, biomechanical corrections, and physical therapy. And so for me, applying all of this research into what I do personally, I have three things that I'm going to change. First, I'm not going to be doing any static stretching anymore outside of injury treatment. Second, on any normal runs, I won't be doing any static or dynamic stretching. And third, for speed work, I will be doing some dynamic stretching just to get those targeted muscle groups warmed up. But that's it. So here's my question for you. Why do we in the running community continue to push stretching so hard? Is it ignorance? Do, do people just not know? Do you think that it's just habit? Is it superstition? Is it that you know feeling of comfort that you're in control of your injuries? What do you think it is? I'd love to know in the comments down below, so let me know. And if you came here feeling guilty about not stretching before or after your run today, don't worry, science is on your side you no longer need to worry about static stretching. Yeah. As always, I am not an expert in this. In fact, I highly recommend you go read some of the articles that I read and see for yourself. I'll include some of those in the description below. But if this was interesting or thought provoking, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It helps me know that I'm making the right kind of videos and it gives me encouragement to continue. So if this was interesting, thought provoking, stick around, I'll catch you in the next video.